In this last video, I just want to take a few moments to look at some of the options you get with Pantheon's automatic installs. I've deleted that WordPress blog and I'm going to click Add a Site. I'm going to give it another name. Click Create Site. And we can again import a site or start from scratch. But if I scroll down here, we have a bunch of options. I can do WordPress Drupal 7 or 6, but we also have some distributions. And I mentioned this in an earlier video, but I'm going to install one here just so you can see how it works. I'm going to do Commerce Kickstart. And essentially, it's exactly the same process. One of the great things that Pantheon has done is that it has simplified many of the very difficult tasks it takes to get world-class hosting up and running. At the end of this installation process, we'll have a Commerce Kickstart site set up ready to go from Drupal Commerce. All right, I'm going to visit my Pantheon dashboard, take a quick look at the status, nothing new there. If I click on Visit Development Site, it's going to take me out to the installation screen for the Commerce Kickstart distribution. And here we have it. Setting up a distribution at Pantheon is exactly the same as setting up a normal site. Hopefully, this series has helped introduce you to one of the best hosting options we have today for Drupal. And now, WordPress at getpantheon.com.